Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Today we're going to talk about how to solve your PDF problems. Now the PDF can be a confusing animal. In fact, most people don't even know what the letters PDF stand for. In fact, I'm not sure I do either. And what we tend to know about them are two things. First, a PDF is easy to view. With a free PDF viewer, you can open the document, read it on a PC or a Mac. You can view it whether or not you have Word or whether or not you have Excel. Easy. Secondly, a PDF is hard to change. Let me give you a practical example of the kinds of things that people run into. An attorney contacted me about needing to insert some pages into the appendix of a brief, and this brief was in PDF format. Well, sure, this would be easy to do with a hard copy. You could just unstaple it, put the needed pages back in, and then staple it again. But to do the same thing with a PDF is a real challenge. But today I have some candy for you. In fact, it's a site called PDF Candy, located at pdfcandy.com. Let me share my screen and I'm going to give you some practical examples of how this is going to make your life a lot easier. For this first example, I'm going to show you something we run into all the time. Let's say you've scanned several pages, uh, a document several pages long, but the particular scanner you have, it doesn't have the software that's going to put that together as one document. So what you come out with is a PDF for each page. How can you put those together as one document? Well, with PF Candy, PDF Candy rather, it's easy. So here I have it opened over here. Let's say I have these three pages here. Here is the first page. Here is the second page. And here is the third page. And we want to put them all together as one document. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click Merge PDF. I click it. It says Add Files. Let me just highlight, drag all three of them over there. And it's saying, okay, what order do these things go in? Is this correct? And Ooh, ooh, no, it says this is the third page, this is the first page, this is the second page. So let me see if I can drag these around. So there's the first page, the third page, the second page, and now it looks like I have them in the order that I want them. Uh, I could click the X to get rid of any of those, but now that's the order that I want them in. Let me click Merge Three Files. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait a whole 15 seconds. Many times it's a whole lot quicker even than this. It's done and it's ready for me to click Download File and there it appears on my desktop. Let's open it up. There's the first page. There's the second page. There's the third page. So there you have it. Very easy to merge documents or merge pages into one document. Now let's look at the problem that that particular attorney had. We've got a document, the pages are already merged as one document. We've got to put one somewhere in the middle. How are we going to do that? Well, PDF candy to the rescue. Let me share my screen again. All right, here we have PDF candy over here, and we have this page that we need to add in between pages two and three. Well, what we're going to have to do is take that PDF that we had and split it apart. So here's the document that we had, page one, page two, page three. So I'm just gonna simply go over here and click split PDF. I'm gonna drag this document over here. That's all three pages. I'm gonna say split and it's working, and it's working, and it's working. It's done. Let's download. And here it is in this little folder. So 
it's it's zip. Let me just create a, a new folder so that we can keep these things organized. And let me open these three. Put them over here. And then here's the one we want to add. But now what I want to do, come over here to PDF Candy and let's merge the PDF. Let me take all four of those. Let me drag them over here. And now let me look at the order that's put them in. So the first page needs to go here. It says, this is the second page. Let's put it there. It says, put me between pages two and three, which is what we have. This is the third page, merge four files. It says it's gonna take a whopping 17 seconds. That's not bad. We're gonna download the file. Here it is. Let's open it up. There's the first page. There's the second page. There's the one that we needed to add. And there's the third page. Look how easy that was. How else could you have accomplished something like that? And what else will it do? Let me go on with another couple of examples for you. Think how many times, for example, that you have scanned something and it's sideways. Who wants to have to turn their head 90 degrees to read it? Let's show you how to do it. Let's look at an example that I scanned earlier today. Here's a form, but look how it is on the page. I want to rotate that. All I have to do is go to PDF Candy, and one of the tools I have says rotate PDF. I'll open it up. I'll drag the file that I need. And it says rotate 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. So let's try rotating 90 degrees and let's see if I got that right or if it's now upside down. Download file. And here it is. Let's see the result. Did I get it right? Ah, and I did the 90 degrees put it just the right way for me to read. You run into this sort of thing all the time. Let's look at another ability of PDF candy, the ability to compress a PDF. Let's look at this particular document. It's a PDF, just a checklist. It's only one page long, but let's look at the file size. As I right click on that and say properties, uh, this particular one page is 3.56 megabytes. PDFs can sometimes get a little long. So here's what I'm gonna do. In PDF Candy, I'll click Compress PDF. I'll drag that document in and click Compress. We'll click Download. And here's our new document. Now, remember when we looked at the original, that was 3.56 megabytes. Let's look at the property here, 407K. Wow, huge difference, and let's open it. And the quality is every bit as good as what our original was. So when those PDF documents get fairly large, PDF candy to the rescue. What else will it do? Let's go back to the main page. As you read across here, it will convert Word to PDF, PDF to Word. You have an Excel spreadsheet, but you don't want people to change it. You only want them to be able to see the numbers. Well, you can change that Excel to a PDF and give it to them. Need to transfer a JPEG to a PDF? It'll do it for you, or a PDF to a JPEG. You can go through here, uh, you can delete pages from a PDF, all kinds of things that you can do here. Adding a watermark, uh, cropping that PDF. Plenty of tools here at your disposal, and it's all free. That's PDF Candy. These examples merely scratch the surface of what this site can do. So come over to PDF Candy and explore the other tools that are there. You know, the internet has its share of conversion tools. Finding the one you need 
is usually but one Google search away. Finding and saving the links to these valuable tools is a great use of your time. By the way, have you subscribed to this YouTube channel? Go ahead while you're here and do so now and ring the bell so that whenever I produce something new, you'll know about it. Sometimes the easiest way to show you how to do something is well to show you like we've done here today. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.